square root of 45 minus square root of 20 upon square root of 20 minus square root of 5. How do we simplify it? To simplify it, we rationalize the denominator. So, rationalizing the denominator. To rationalize it, we multiply and divide it by the conjugate of the denominator. Now, consider if we multiply this by 1, then there is no change. Multiplying any number by 1 is same. Now, instead of multiplying by 1, we write a upon a, consider, then also it is equal to 1. So, we multiply and divide by the same number so that the quotient doesn't change and the denominator has a real number. So, here we have square root of 20 minus square root of 5. So, we will multiply and divide it by the conjugate of square root of 20 minus square root of 5. Now, conjugate of x minus y will be x plus y and y versa. So, conjugate of square root of 20 minus square root of 5 will be square root of 20 plus square root of 5. So, square root of 45 minus square root of 20 upon square root of 20 minus square root of 5 times square root of 20 plus square root of 5 times square root of 20 plus square root of 5 or square root of 45 minus square root of 20 multiplied to square root of 20 plus square root of 5 upon this is in the form of differences of square so we can write square root of 20 square minus square root of 5 square a minus b times a plus b it is equal to a square minus b square now square root of 45 we will apply the distributive property so square root of 20 plus square root of 5 then minus square root of 20 times square root of 20 plus square root of 5 upon remove the square root with the square so 20 minus 5 now when square root of a times square root of b we can also write it as a times b under square root so square root of 45 times square root of 20 we can write 45 times 20 under square root then plus 45 times 5 under square root minus square root of 20 times square root of 20 or 20 times 20 under square root minus 20 times 5 under square root then 20 minus 5 20 minus sorry here is 5 is 15 now 45 we can write it as 5 times 9 and 20 is 5 times 4 under square root then plus 5 times 9 45 then times 5 20 times 20 under square root is square root of 20 square and 20 times 5 is 100 or we can write it as 10 square it is then upon 15 or it is 5 square under square root times square root of 9 times square root of 4 plus square root of 5 square times square root of 9 minus remove the square root with this square so it is 20 minus 10 here also remove the square root with the square so 5 times square root of 9 is 3 then times 2 remove the square root with the square plus 5 square root of 9 is 3 minus 20 minus 10 is minus 30 or upon 15 then upon 15 30 plus 15 minus 30 upon 15 plus 30 and minus 30 gets cancelled so it is 15 upon 15 so answer is 1 another method that we can find this answer so in the second method we first simplify the radicals so square root of 45 is 5 times 9 under square root and square root of 20 is 5 times 4 under square root upon 5 times 4 under square root minus square root of 5 so it is square root of 5 times square root of 9 minus square root of 5 times square root of 4 then upon square root of 5 times square root of 4 minus square root of 5 now let's take square root of 5 common square root of 9 
minus square root of 4 upon square root of 5 common square root of 4 minus 1 or square root of 5 and square root of 5 gets cancelled. Square root of 3, 9 is 3 and square root of 4 is 2. Then square root of 4 is 2 minus 1. So 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. So answer is 1. Which method did you like more? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.